we've got a Cowan Equipment poll question now because if you have missed the story, uh, and we mentioned it again yesterday, but it's even in the New York Post this morning, that Eric Church, the country music singer star, uh, is, a, is a North Carolina guy, and he's a big North Carolina Tar Heel fan. And he loves college sports. So we've seen him on sidelines at Alabama football games before. Uh, but he has canceled his Saturday night concert in San Antonio. And he was very upfront about it. He says, listen, this is a once, literally once in a lifetime thing that has happened. North Carolina and Duke, the biggest rivalry, is going to play each other in the final four. It's going to be on Saturday night in New Orleans. And me and my family, we're going to go to the game so I'm asking you guys who give me so much, and I try to give you everything when you're at my concert, to understand this is the most selfish thing I've ever done, but I'm going to cancel my Saturday night concert, and I'm going to go and, and watch my favorite team play basketball against our biggest rival in the biggest game in that rivalry's history in the Final Four in New Orleans. I hope you understand. As you would imagine, a lot of people have not understood. Well, sure. and, and people that don't have tickets who just have an opinion – have been lashing out against Eric Church. And Rockstar is in the entertainment business. Brown, you're in the sports and entertainment business. I, I want to hear what you guys think about this. I'm such an Eric Church fan. I sort of admire him for just being honest. And I, I've seen how he does business over the years. I feel like he's going to make it up to these people somehow, some way. Well, it's all on an individual basis. There's somebody that's like, I want to introduce my kid to Eric Church, and this is the one night we can go. And we bought tickets. We planned all around it, and he cancels to watch a damn game. There's going to be that opinion. Oh, yeah, he can make it up, but we what if we can't make up the make? We can't come to the makeup date. There's all that stuff. Like you yeah. have, you're an entertainer. Like there's stuff that, I mean, birth of a child, okay, but he's watching the game. Sickness. Like something if y'all like saw that, yeah. that I had a sold out black jacket show, like no, Detroit Lions are playing. A, they're playing the Browns. It's a big game. I got to watch it. You're not gonna you're gonna cancel the show for that. Well, I'm gonna try to make it up. So I I don't agree with the way he's to watch the final four. That's a bit much. That's my opinion. Um, I'm kind of torn on this one because, well, first of all, and th this is what has bothered me from day one of this story. Whenever day one was, because Rockstar is right. There are some people that I. I've got the tickets. I can go. This is the time I'm going to go. Um, and whenever you reschedule the show, I can't make it. I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't work for me. I've got to work that night. I've got a wedding that night, whatever. So I, this is my one chance, and I'm not going to get to see Eric Church. I mean, there, there's going to be a handful of people like that, right? Most of the people that are at the show, I hope he gives them a discounted ticket or some store credit in the Eric Church store or whatever, something like that. Make it worth their time, right? And the ones that just can't go, hopefully he does something to make it up to them. Um, but the thing that has bothered me all along about this is if he's that big a North Carolina fan, either A, he didn't have team, faith in his team to make the Final Four, or B, he's not as big a North Carolina fan as he's playing this out and he just wants to go to the game. Because well, he scheduled a concert for the Final Four. If you're a North Carolina fan and you're a diehard Carolina fan, you know when the Final Four is. Well, I went back and checked the tip time for Friday night, and North Carolina's game Friday night was going on at 8.59 is when they tipped off. And that was right when he took the stage in Birmingham. Right. I think it's just That was the, the Sweet 16 game, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sweet 16. So, okay. I mean, it was going on right when, and during the in, near the end of the concert, he played three straight hours. Near the end of the concert, he's in a song said about his Tar Heels advancing. He worked in a lyric, yeah. as uh, you know, as you can do in a live concert about right. So his, somebody had told him, "Hey, yeah, they won. Yeah. They ju they've just won. Right. Yeah, they moved. They moved on." I just think it's different because it's Duke and North Carolina. That this takes it to a different. So level. you're saying if this were North Carolina Georgetown, he may I, not do this. I don't think he do would do this. Yeah. I don't think he would do this. I think if if this was just a Final Four game. I don't think he'd be doing this. The fact that it is North Carolina and Duke and it's never happened and it may never happen again. And it's coach K's last game. Um, I think this is one that you, if you're a fan of this artist, you, you would, I think you can relate to this. I, 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 you know, again, my opinion doesn't count because he did my concert where I had my tickets that I had bought on the secondary market. And, you know, I was able to, you know, go see him. He didn't skip to watch North Carolina play basketball. To make it make it more local, okay, uh, Garth Brooks is an Oklahoma State fan, yes, correct? Yep. Oklahoma State makes the playoff. Garth Brooks cancels this, say the shows, and that cancels that show. I, I'm going to I will bring it up to you, Birmingham, but Oklahoma State's playing in the playoff. So, 
So you're talking about having to play the college football playoff? Yeah. Okay. I would almost forgive Garth Brooks because it would be a surprise that Oklahoma State is there, right? Okay. This right. shouldn't be a surprise that North Carolina, with their history, is in the Final Four. And I don't know when these dates were set. I don't know when he announced these tour dates. I'm assuming it was before the basketball season started. I would assume. I don't know that. But... Yeah, I would assume as well, especially yeah, so, a big venue like San Antonio. Right, right. So this just tells but you also add dates during like the tour is going so well. Yeah, would you gonna, be okay if we added yeah. five more dates? Yes, we can yep. do five more dates. Well, that's what they're saying right now. That that uh, well, a part of the I'm upset because he hasn't scheduled rescheduled the show. It's just canceled. Well, I mean, it will get rescheduled, and all those people will get their money back or will have their tickets honored. Right. And there's no way he does he does business no, not like at that. All. Not at all. JD, one of our great listeners, it would be like a pastor canceling church for the Super Bowl. Oh wait, dot dot dot. I mean, that does happen, <laughs> right? You do rearrange church sometimes for yeah. if for some reason we ended up having to play Alabama and Auburn on a Sunday at noon in Tuscaloosa or Auburn, we would rearrange our church schedule a little bit. We would. We would. In Green Bay, they have church early or Saturdays. Saturday night church? Yeah. Yeah. Um, look, local churches have struggled figuring out how to handle the Super Bowl. Like when I was growing up, they used to do the Super Bowl viewing party, and it was a great outreach, right? You invite your friends, your unchurched friends, and we'll just watch the Super Bowl. And then I don't know if, I don't know what happened. You know, maybe some churches are like, yeah, that halftime show doesn't feel right showing in a church right. building. You know, if Jenna Jackson's going to show her breast, maybe we don't need to be doing that in a church building. Um, so, you know, now they're like, well, we just want to have church, maybe have some friends over, you know, things like that. So, yeah, I mean, JD's right. Churches have tried, you know, they've, they've had a hard time to deciding how to work that in the, I, I mean, this is something that would never happen, but in the event that for some reason you had the Iron Bowl at noon on a Sunday, it would be the lowest attended church day uh, of the year. There's no yeah. doubt. I think the bigger question would be if if Armageddon started that day or if God, if Jesus came back, would would people still be going to the game? Oh, in a moment. Hold on. We'll, 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 we'll be over there in a second. Uh, they might get to see the rest of the season if they miss that one, too. <laughs> That's right. They may hang around for the uh, for the never-ending overtime. Uh, <laughs> you, th you think the offense was bad? Just wait. Uh, Tom writes in, Jim, how would you feel if you had your tickets and he canceled the Birmingham show? Mm -hmm. I'm, I think I'm telling you that as long as I'm getting my money back, I think I'd be okay with it. I really do. I, I, I respect him. And several of you have commented over there, like Adele canceled because, because of, you know, COVID, they couldn't get the show ready but in that's time. Different. So she yeah. canceled her residency and tears and stuff. Yeah. Um, I, and you hear people cancel all the time because of laryngitis or this or that. Yeah. I do appreciate his honesty because he could easily, and now it's going to be hard to cancel for laryngitis and then CBS show Eric Church sitting at the game, right? Right. Because you know good and well, if he just canceled for laryngitis and tried to sneak in, he ends up on TV. That's the way that's going to roll. So I do appreciate his honesty in that, that he is at least not trying to paint any picture of anything else other than I'm a Carolina fan, selfishly. I, he even said it's the most selfish decision I've ever made. He's owning his selfishness. Yeah, that's his quote right yeah. here in the New York Post. Um, it says so many pictures of Eric Church in North Carolina gear. Quote, this is also the most selfish thing I've ever asked the choir as his fans to do, to give up your Saturday night plans with us so that I can have this moment with my family and sports community. I mean, look, this is probably going to reflect poorly on me. But my daughter's birthday, my oldest daughter, her birthday is um, in December. And it's after school is out, right? Right. So they don't get to do the whole, she's young now. And as she gets older, this won't be a big deal. But you know, when you're young, you invite your whole class to your birthday, right? You have to invite everybody in the class, which is, I think, a good rule. You don't pick and choose. That's right. You invite everybody in the class. If one person gets an invitation, everybody does. So you go down and you rent out a place or whatever. You know, you do it at your house, whatever the case is, right? And the whole class comes over. Well, she gets to do that for all her classmates. But her birthday's in December, so she doesn't get to do that for her. So what we allow her to do is do it in January, right, when school is back in. So I, I, you know, I tell my wife, try to schedule it on the Saturday that is between the AFC and NFC championship game and the Super Bowl. Well, well, but see, that's just smart the planning. Sunday. Well, I agree. Or Saturday or Sunday. The Saturday's fine, but if you're going to do it on Sunday, just make sure it's not the AFC and NFC championship game or the Super Bowl. And Rockstar laughed at that. Like, I mean – 
Yeah, oh, wait, I, I don't but, think it's an unreasonable request. Has it always been met though? It has. Okay, yeah. so what, would you be upset if it, it was not met? If, are the Dolphins in the AFC Championship game? Yeah. No. I, I mean, you're you're kidding. <laughs> you're, no, that was a rhetorical <laughs> question, oh, okay. right? Sorry, it didn't require an answer. You're kidding yourself if if every guy listening or watching us and some women, if you haven't inju- adjusted personal things even with your kids, to to watch some sports. I mean. I, I mean, I missed a birthday party along the way. If there was a sporting event on that I wanted to watch, absolutely. Um, am I going to regret that someday when I'm dying on my deathbed and I'm looking at my kids saying, God, you know, I wish I had gone to that trip to Birmingham Adventure or whatever it is it's called uh, with you. That Vision day. land. Vision <laughs> land, yeah. I wish I'd gone that afternoon. But I stayed home to watch Florida and Tennessee. To watch Ole Miss Vanderbilt. But it was a good game. <laughs> I mean, JP game with Dave Neal on the call. Yeah, I mean, but I've, I've done that kind of stuff before. Well, I, uh, I and mean, I, and I appreciate – I, I do appreciate the honesty here with this guy because I agree with that part. I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about the whole cancellation, but I appreciate the honesty at least. Yeah. He's not trying to hide behind something. 